Today on the channel, we go back to the farm with the April O'Neil Casey Jones Walmart exclusive NECA Ninja Turtle 2 pack. The spirit of the warrior will run forever. everyone, Kyle here and welcome back to the channel for another NECA Ninja Turtle unboxing and review and today we go back to the farm, yeah the farm, as we got the farm 2 pack of Casey Jones and April O'Neil. But for all your Ninja Turtle needs that aren't Walmart or Target exclusive, hit up Big Bad Toy Store, link in the description below. So this Turtle 2 pack just hitting Walmart stores right now. Turtle anxiety running at an all-time high. And you can pick up the t-shirt at ProWrestlingTees.com, of course. Uh, but this one a lot of people were scared about because a lot of us, myself included, had this pre-ordered from Walmart back in September, I want to say it was. And then early in 2022, canceled across the board. So we said, oh, here we go. Going to be a disaster. Well, thankfully, from what I'm seeing early is, we're getting about five to seven of these, uh, depending on your Walmart store. Uh, the bigger, probably the more. Uh, but five to seven at one shot, plus the April O'Neil solo carded figure. Uh, so big restock of turtles happening at Walmart. But you got to be searching your stores. If you're watching this as it drops, be checking the next two to three weeks. You're probably going to come across this one as, I don't know if this has the glitz and the glamour of a regular Casey Jones, the regular April O'Neil or the turtle figures, or the villain figures. This one might sit around a little bit, especially with uh, another April O'Neil solo one, and a lot of people already having Casey Jones. I can see some people passing on this. Uh, this one's basically a repaint, getting the most out of your molds. You guys know how that all goes. We've talked about it at nauseum on the channel. Uh, but an interesting pack nonetheless, and we're going to dive into this one. Like we do all the other unboxings on the channel, we're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. We'll do a little comparisons as well. So let's take a look at the packaging. We know this packaging by now. We got the Nickelodeon logos all over the place. Big window box, extra hands, accessories, all kinds of cool accessories of this one. Extra heads as well. A lot going on for you, Casey Jones, April O'Neil fans. As it is April, it is very fitting that the April O'Neil figures hit in April. I see what you did there, NECA. Uh, then you got, of course, the turtles down below in the names. Turtle logo up top. A lot of fun. Turtles, there's glamour shots right there. Glamour shots on the other end. And the back, of course, that generic blurb that's been there a little too long, if you ask me. And then more glamour shots of the action figures, which I always like that. I always like the action figure glamour shots. Turtle logo on the very top. Uh, UPCs and credits down below. So let's get them out of the package here. See what's going on. We'll do a little plastic prison, then I'll get them all twist-tied out. What do we got back here? A uh, cool background, a little door, just like a room background. That's all that is, like a room. Hey, who wants to hang out? There it is. Then we get down to the plastic prison, and there they are in the plastic prison, looking only like Casey Jones and April O'Neil would look in April of 2022 at my table. A lot going on here. Uh-oh. I see some paint flake on the back of Casey Jones. We'll have to investigate that a little bit more. But a lot going on in here. We get Casey Jones, two different Casey Jones masks. We get... Uh, was it a hammer, a wrench, binoculars, turtle wax, pencils, artwork, a stand for April once again, hands, hands, extra heads, a lot of accessories in this pack. So let me dive in, let me get these all twist tied out, and we'll be back talking about the Farmhouse 2 pack. All right, we got Casey, we got April out of the packaging, plus the accessories. Let's dive in like we always do. We'll start with these middle ground accessories first. A lot of accessories here. Once again, we do get a stand for April O'Neil. Always appreciate a stand. You guys know I'm a sucker for a stand. Uh, very similar to the last one. Just a little circular stand. It's funny they didn't give us one of the big NECA stands. They got to get a deal too, it sounds like. Uh, we do get the big samurai sword. Very nice. Very squared off on top. Good uh, look to this one. It's got the nice leather wrapped handle and then against the gray of the sword. Like that a whole lot as well. And then we get down to a hammer. Very small hammer, and there's a lot of small accessories here, so be careful unboxing this thing. If something falls in your carpet, it could be lost forever. Uh, just insane, insanely small accessories for this one. Just absolutely insanity. You're going to see in a second here. But we do get a hammer right here if you need to 
hammer or something. There you go. Uh, not a lot of detail this hammer. I mean, it is a brown. I mean, it's just your old hammer you'd find laying around at the farm. It's got the steel top, uh, and then it's just got a brown handle to it. So not a lot of bells and whistles there. We do get the binoculars. Very cool. Always cool to get binoculars as an accessory. You could use these with Marvel Legends, any other toy line if you so please. Always cool to get these for you fig photographers out there. Multi-use accessories is the name of the game with something like this. Uh, definitely looks like binoculars. You know exactly what that is when you see it. Uh, then we get the turtle wax, and I believe we saw this with that turtle accessory kit. I got that accessory kit when that came out, and I still have not unboxed it. One of these days, I'll unbox that on the channel. Uh, but the turtle wax, very cool. Uh, very cool to get the uh, get turtle wax to sign off for the approval of that in a toy line. Once again, an accessory you could use almost anywhere if you wanted to. So very cool. Then we get a wrench. And holy cow, is this wrench small. This is something you could lose so easily. Unbelievably small. I appreciate the attention to detail. I appreciate how this looks, but boy, is it tiny. Tiny. Uh, and speaking of tiny, it doesn't get tinier than this. Three pencils. I mean, minute. I mean, these are going to be lost. I'm immediately putting these in a baggie. I'm not risking this. These fall out of the hands. They're gone forever. There's going to be a lot of people selling this set loose in the future. It's going to be missing pencils. Will it have three pencils? Uh, that's the million dollar question for sure. I just, I don't see it. Very difficult to keep these uh, in check. I'm even going to put them inside of a stand just so they don't roll out and I don't lose those guys. Uh, then we get, what is this, like uh, Gatorade? Uh, just, gosh, this brings me back. So small a riding. It's got a pizza thing on it. Uh, it says Turtle Aid, which should be Gatorade. But you guys remember back in the 80s, all glorious time, when Gatorade came in the frosted, kind of frosty bottles a little bit. Uh, just a moment in time. There was only like three flavors of Gatorade back then. Simple times, simple times. I'm sure Gatorade goes back to like the 60s or 70s maybe even. But I remember the 80s. I remember going down to the gas station, picking up some Gatorade every once in a while. Then we get the two pictures, the two drawings here. Uh, interesting. Once again, I, these are just paper. This is just thin, thin paper. I would have liked to have seen this on a heavier duty stock, maybe a cardboard stock. Uh, really could be better. Could be better, but it is what it is. We get the two drawings there. Then we get Casey Jones' mask. This isn't an actual mask you can wear. This is one he can hold on to. Uh, we did see this mask with the Casey Jones last release, the Walmart exclusive, at least for now, the Walmart exclusive maskless Casey Jones. You got that with this as well. So we got that going on. So now we dig into the figures and their accessories they came with, which is the hands, of course. We always talk about the hands. We're going to do ladies first like we always do. We're going to kick it off with April O'Neil here. We got three gripping hands or hand-holding hand -holding hands. C-clamp, uh, gripping hands. We got one that has the ring on the thumb, which is the nice touch. And then you got two just regular hands here. On her hands, on the figure, a lot of hand talk here. You do get open hands, so she can slap people if she wants. Uh, she can hold that Gatorade. Uh, and I should mention that Gatorade was half full, so that was pretty cool. It's been being uh, nursed by somebody. So there you go, we got that going on. But then we get April O'Neil. Uh, let's see, what do we think about this April O'Neil? Well, I guess we could grab the other version of April O'Neil right here. Of course, I pre-ordered this way back when. This is the News Reporter Edition. Uh, a very nice figure. This one is very, very similar. Uh, different, the head is the same. Just a little bit of differences. The hair is different, a different color here, a different wash to the color. Uh, the head sculpt, very similar. Obviously, it's the same actress. I mean, you're going to have the same kind of head. So it's close, but not 100%. But very, very good likeness. Very good likeness to Judith Hogue. Uh, the knees are a little bit better on this one. It does look a little bit more normal. Uh, the knees on this one, absolutely terrible. It got a lot of uh, gruff from people uh, not liking it, especially the back end where it's not painted. Ugh, ugly. Uh, here I can say the knees look a heck of a lot better. She does have this stand. Can I get her to stay? Perfect. Stay right there, April. But then we get April. We got the single jointed elbows, of course, the removable hands, the shoulders. Uh, the arms goes all the way around, so you can move that. The head removable, of course. Waist articulation can move off to the side. Single jointed knees, you get about that much there. Not a ton going on. And then, of course, the ankle rockers down below. Very, very tight ankles, which is appreciated. This is a female high-heeled figure like Marvel Legends and some other lines. Not the easiest to stand. That is why they gave us a stand with this figure. Much appreciated there because, yeah, it's just a nightmare trying to get this to stand. It might be a nightmare to even get her on the stand now that I say this because well, she's not wanting to fit. Oh, my gosh. Tough. Tough. But you gotta, you're going to have to play with it. It's not going to be the easiest, and it does not stay in there very well. Uh, we do have a little bit of paint flake on the feet, too. 
uh, right on the black down there. So you got a little paint flake on that. Uh, your mileage may vary on that one for sure. But very hard to stand this April figure. Can I get her? Well, there we go. Got her finally to stand on the stand. So there it is. Uh, but the hair is different. She's got very kind of a lost puppy dog look, face expression going on. Uh, very 80s and 90s, and maybe girls do it right now. My my family does not do this, at least that I've noticed. But tying the shirt at the bottom. Uh, obviously, the shirt's too big, so you tie it. Uh, nice black skirt going on here. Uh, she does have her nice white underwear on underneath her skirt, so good for her uh, wearing underwear. Uh, props, props to her, props to her. But there it is. Uh, not a, a lot besides that going on here. This isn't like news reporter uh, April. I know there's uh, some dioramas, some pictures on the back. Her, you know, Casey Jones working, handing him the wrench, stuff like that. So depending what you want to do with this one, you do get the extra head sculpt with this one. This is more of a happy kind of uh, surprise look going on on April right here. But we do have that head. So uh, I'll probably use this head because it is a different. It is more different than the one we already have. And you guys know when I have extra characters, I want to get the, as much point of difference as I possibly can between my figures. So I will probably use that one. Now we turn our attention to Casey Jones. Casey Jones, once again, comes with two fisted hands. He's ready to throw down at a moment's notice. Uh, but we do get the two gripping hands. He can hold some stuff. The, the wrench, he can hold the uh, hammer, he can hold the sword, he can hold the Gatorade, whatever you want to do. And then you get more flayed out hands in case he wants to slap somebody. Very veiny hands. I don't know what's going on here, but very veiny hands, like an old man almost. Uh, we do get the masked head, the Casey Jones masked head once again with him. Uh, this is interesting. Casey Jones, the first one, of course, came with the mask on. Second edition, which I have right here, uh, came with the maskless head. Now this one comes with the maskless head plus the mask. I can see some people saying, I already have a Casey Jones. I don't need Casey Jones uh, Al Bundy edition uh, over here. But we do have uh, same head sculpt. Oh, yeah, it looks very, very similar. Very similar. He looks a lot like, what is it, Christopher Maloney? Is that the actor's name? I think, obviously, from Oz, one of the greatest shows of all time. He's also in, like, a Law & Order, one of those shows. Never seen him in that. I think he was in Happy on Sci-Fi. I watched that show. Uh, I don't know if that's on anymore. Uh, but yeah, he looks uh, a lot like him. It's not him, of course. Uh, and we know we had issues, or the NECA team had issues getting his likeness, getting him to sign off to be an action figure. He finally did, thankfully. I don't know why you wouldn't. I would love to be an action figure uh, that you could buy. But there he is, Casey Jones on that one. But this one is, like I said, Al Bundy Casey Jones. He's got his sweatpants on. He's got a dirty wife beater. Uh, he's got his socks and his sneakers on. It just looks like a guy that looks like he needs to get a beer out of the refrigerator. It's not going to get up from his lazy boy. He's just going to watch football all day or something. Uh, that's kind of what it looks like. But it's, you know, of course, Casey Jones working on the farm. Uh, they're getting ready to, to get an attack against Shredder going on. Uh, but it looks just like a normal human being. So for you crowd people that want people in a crowd or street scene, stuff like that, you could use this as just a normal guy if you really wanted to. Uh, but, you know, it, it's Casey Jones. It definitely looks like him. You can have him holding his mask. You can have him with the masked head on. I don't think I'm going to use this masked head. Uh, to me, it looks weird. Uh, and I can't remember. I, somebody jogged my memory in the movie. Was he wearing... Did he ever have this look in the movie where he had the mask on with the wife beater and, the, and this? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to use it, but I'm. I'm leaning towards just the regular head on this one. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. This pack, like I said earlier, I don't know if this is for everybody. If you're a hardcore completist, yes, it is for you. You're a huge turtle fan, yes. You love Casey April, yes. But if you already have a Casey, you already have the other April. I could see somebody saying there's not enough meat on the old bone here for me. I'm not picking this one up, and I can't say you're totally wrong on that one. Uh, especially at the about, what $64 I think this cost with tax now. Inflation, it's uh, killing us all in the toy department. Uh, this thing's about $10 more than it was just six months ago. Uh, so at that price point, that is a tough pill to swallow for a lot of people as well. So I could see people passing because of that. But uh, what do you guys think? You picking this two-pack up? Is there enough meat on the bone for you? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the old notification bell. Follow along on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. Of course, Patreon, link in the description below where you can see this video. Tons of other videos much, much earlier than traditional YouTube giveaways, bonus content, a lot of fun stuff on the Patreon. And of course, you support the channel on the Patreon. So there you go. And then of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. So a lot going on. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'll see you guys all real soon.